Hey guys, welcome to RhinoTutorial.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two different methods of creating a solid out of a curve, and then I'm going to show you how to edit a solid. So, firstly, I'm going to create a curvy curve, an open one at that as well. There we go. And I'm going to turn this curve, because it's not a curve, we have to use a different method. So, first, I'm going to turn this curve into a surface by extruding it. Type in extrude curve enter and we'll lift it up a bit. And now we're gonna extrude the surface into a solid. And I'm gonna make a mistake on purpose to show you how you're meant to do it. So firstly I'm gonna have it selected in the perspective viewport. I'm gonna type in extrude. I'm gonna go down to extrude surface. You can see it is extruding in the Z axis, this is not what we're looking for. To extrude it in a way to create a surface, we're going to have to go into a different viewport. I'm going to go into the right viewport for this. I'm going to type in extrude and go down to surface. I'm going to select the surface, press enter, and now we can extrude it into a solid. So if you're ever having this problem, you know to go into the other viewports and play around it to try get the effect you're looking for. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move the solid out of the way and you can see the original curve. I'm going to delete that and the original, I'm sorry, the original surface. I deleted that and the original curve that we used to create the solid. Next, I'm going to show you how to edit a solid how to specifically how to fill it here and chamfer the edges. So I'm going to create a box and zoom in on it. And firstly, I'm going to fill it edge. This means to create a nice smooth edge. So I'm going to type in fill it and go down to fill it edge. I'm going to select the edge I want, and it's going to fill it at a radius of one. Press Enter or right click to confirm. And from here, we can choose how far we want to fit how how much of a curve we want by clicking and dragging it and as you can see you you can adjust it manually to however you want so we're going to make a nice big big one roughly here we go at 25 and we press enter and now we have ourselves a nice fillet we can also do I'm going to quickly control z this and show you another way if you can do it where you can fill it one side and not the other of the same edge. So we're gonna type in fill it, go down to edge, select the edge, enter, and here in the options where it says link handles, you can go to no. And now we can make this one bigger. Increase this one slightly, but you can see this one is gonna fill it at 28 radius, and the one at the far back is gonna be at 11. So now when we press enter, you can see we have a more distorted fillet. And now I'm gonna show you how to chamfer on the other side. Simply type in chamfer, chamfer edge, and it works the same way as fillet. We we'll select the edge, press enter link handles we're going to select yes because you already know what they mean we'll choose how much the chamfer is going to be manually or you can type it in 25 30 whatever you like and we we'll press enter and now we have a chamfered edge and a filleted edge that concludes the editing polysurfaces tutorial thank you for watching a rhino tutorial